Yo, it's your boy Straight Boss OV8 from Straight Smoke Gaming. We're here to give you some Saturday smoke, and we're doing two of the games, two of the three games that we do here on the channel, and we're doing a little comparison because everyone knows it's spooky season, and we are comparing GTA 5 Online's Halloween update this week, a couple days ago, two days ago, comparing it to Red Dead Online's. Uh, Halloween update the Halloween outlaw pass technically is what it's dubbed so and then we're gonna give you our opinion on who the winner of the Halloween update is between these two games from Rockstar and you can see here GTA kept things pretty basic pretty simple pretty like every other year uh, they have their PvP um, slasher that is triple money. They have some other PvP things. Beast vs. Slasher, double money. Lost vs. Condemned, double money. Uh, all the slashers type stuff. Diamond Slasher, Bunker Slasher. At least that is triple uh, RP and money. So that's good. Although there's not... No one's making millions off of that though. I mean, let's let's be real. No one's making a ton of money off this stuff, okay? Alright, so it is what it is. Now, here you got the vehicles, the same vehicles they have every Halloween. Okay. Um, last year they at least put this on the podium. I think this is the best vehicle out of the three to four that they have. Um, at least it is on sale. You don't have to pay full price for it. So that's nice. Uh, and other than that, this is the only other vehicle that's on sale this week. Uh, this is the only weaponized vehicle on sale is the RC tank which I don't mind the RC tank it's got me out of a jam a time or two absolutely and you can see there based on the price uh, that's a pretty good discount so that's good so but I mean the vehicles the same no new Halloween content uh, so things aren't looking so good right now but this right here it's pretty badass. Now, I am a grinder through and through. Hardcore grinder. Uh, if it doesn't make money, I really don't care. That's what kind of grinder I am. And I will take a step back from that and say, this is pretty cool. Uh, to me, this is the best part of the GTA 5 Online Halloween update is the peyote plants that are across the map in GTA 5 online this week I think this is pretty neat it's a good way to rank up too to level up uh, they believe here you'll see the RP kick in I believe it's 5,000 5,000 RP BAM hammerhead shark uh, yeah this is pretty chill uh, this is just something uh, yeah I could have I could have stayed this um, for I don't know, at least 20 minutes a half hour just swimming around I thought this was kind of fun and uh, I did start swimming towards that dot over there I was hoping that he was like some other little fish and we were going to have like a fish battle or something uh, but unfortunately that did not <laughs> that did not happen in fact that guy was on land and ended up killing me uh, you know, by shooting into the water so yeah <laughs> in true GTA fashion uh -huh. But anyway, okay, so that's GTA. Purity Plants, good for leveling up. It's something unique. It's done really well. And now we're getting mode into Red Dead Online. What they have here is the Halloween Pass. Uh, you've seen it very briefly there. They do have a mode, PvP mode, uh, similar to GTA's type stuff. Um, it's very similar to last year's. Not a lot of effort in it. Um, but it is, and it's not zombies because they shoot guns zombies don't shoot firearms so i mean they they tried at least they tried something okay so but it did fall flat not gonna lie it fell really flat but what didn't fall flat is the halloween pass and there's a bunch of new cosmetics that you can get Nothing game changing, nothing game breaking, like, oh my goodness, I need to spend the 15 gold to get this. There's nothing in there like that. 
but it's for cosmetics. Did uh, Red Dead's always the Red Dead community is always complaining that we never get new content. We never get it. Red Dead's really big on their clothes and cosmetics. Red Dead is really big on the cosmetics, more so than GTA, and they got exactly what they been crying for. So that is big thumbs up, uh, I think anyway, for doing that. And now I have to get into the even bigger news than that. First of all, all the roles, all those roles right there in the game are all discounted. Every single role is discounted. Okay? All the equipment, the uh, business equipment, the tools of the trade, like you so here the bounty wagon, the honey wagon I showed uh, a couple seconds ago is on sale. These roll horses, and, and the roll horses are pretty damn good horses, and there's a big discount on these roll horses. Look at this. This horse is normally five, not, uh, $950, it's down to $570. Uh, so you got the roll horses, the roll saddles on sale, bounty wagons, uh, the bowls are almost 50% off. Uh, the roll saddles, uh, for the mood shiner, you have the condensers on sale, the barks, like everything's on sale. Here you're going to see at the Wilderness Outfitters, all the stuff that's on sale. Like literally everything's on sale. If GTA was going to do something like this, they would have to say, okay, uh, MC clubhouses are on sale, nightclubs are on sale, bunkers are on sale, and CEO offices are on sale as well as the CEO garages and stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that's a, that doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. So, yes, clearly, Red Dead Online, one spooky season. Uh, that's our opinion. But, yeah, it's a, it's a slam dunk. Red Dead, shut down GTA. It's not comparable. Hands down, winner. So, if you disagree, I'd like to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Looking at all that, who do you think won spooky season? Did GTA 5 Online? Or did Red Dead come out on top? All right, go ahead and comment. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Orb Smoke will be back tomorrow before kickoff with another Madden 21 vid. We'll see you tomorrow for kickoff.